Hi, my name is Philip, and today I will be talking about my discrete 32 bit RISC V CPU that I've been building for the past two years. I will show you what is it currently capable of, what it could be capable of in the near future, and how even you can make your own. There is a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. My CPU is fully compatible with the RV32i standard, which means that it can use off-the-shelf compilers, so anybody can make a program for this CPU very easily. This is groundbreaking for homebrew CPUs, because almost every one of what I saw used a custom compiler or just an assembler. With RISC-V, we can achieve much more with much less components. And this is what I have demonstrated here. My CPU is built only out of discrete logic components and memories. So you won't find any FPGAs nor any microcontrollers on board. I managed to fit all that into this tower, which I don't think would be possible with any other popular architecture. At this point, it runs at 500 kHz and has a 512 KB for program memory as well as for RAM. So here it is. It is made of over 230 integrated circuits distributed across these nine separate two-layer boards. Again, as this is a discrete build, there are no FPGAs nor any microcontrollers. And here is the front panel where we can find things like the USB-C connector for power, the on and off switch, LED indicator, reset button, the programming connector, VGA output, two input and two output ports. They are 8-bit each. And I almost forgot that there is a small hidden feature and is this small little seven segment display. And the intention here was to use it as some sort of an indicator, similar to how modern motherboards have and I think now it is time to turn this on. So I will plug my 5 volt charger in and turn it on. And that's it, the CPU is running, but we cannot see much. That is why I've created these modules. The first one has just eight buttons. I can connect it to a port B of my CPU and now we can send some inputs. To see some outputs from the CPU, I've also created this module with eight LEDs. Hence, I can plug it in into a port C. Now you can see a very simple animation that is playing and I can change it by pressing different buttons. This is just for demonstrative purposes. But if you want to do something more, something more productive, let's say, I have a PS2 adapter that allows you to connect a PS2 keyboard to my CPU. I will unplug all of these so we will have some more space. Hence, I will plug it into a port A. And the last thing remaining is just to connect an external monitor. So I'll do that here. And the monitor should now turn on, and it does. And here we have a pine shell, my very simple shell-like program that accepts some commands, like hi, for example. It will respond by saying hello. I can type hello back and it will say hi. Pretty neat, right? I can clear the screen using the clear command. And if I want to see some system information, I will type system information. Here are they, and I can get back to my shell program by pressing the escape button. And for those of you who remember the old peek and poke command, well, my CPU supports it as well. I can type poke and some address and some value, let's say AB. I've chosen this address because this is the address that is mapped in memory space to the video RAM. So if I press enter, it will write a byte of data. And in our case, this is AB in binary here to the start of our video RAM. Cool, <laughs> right? I can type peak, peak if I want to read some values and I will use the same address and we should get the same value back. So I will press enter and we've got AB. 
it is working. Cool. We can clear the screen and we may continue. And if we get bored or something else, well, I've got you covered. I've programmed a very simple snake game. But I didn't come up with something like this on the spot, not even close. I was inspired by Robert Barrack's attempt on building his own 32-bit RISC-5 CPU and obviously I wanted to build my own. I started with a Logisim Evolution simulation where I tried to construct all the necessary blocks one by one. And I know, I know that Logisim is just an educational tool and it is not really meant for hardware design, but who cares anyway? After I had the idea of how each block should behave and sketched it into the Logisim simulation, I designed a bunch of PCBs and created the first ever prototype. With all the wires and ribbon cables, it was hard to manage and I spent two months just debugging this and trying to get it running. And it did run, at least for a while. One day when I was testing a new program and was in the process of uploading it, it just suddenly started to draw much more current than usual. And it wasn't even that much, I had the current limited to leave just enough breathing space. But I was never able to get it working again. But at that point I was already finishing my PCBs for the final version, so it wasn't that bad. The last thing was to order my PCBs and I went to JLC PCB, quoted my port and are you telling me that without the shipping these 10 really nice black PCBs costed me literally less than these 4 little fellas? Well sign me up for more. According to tracking they were done in about 3 days and I received them about a week later. Awesome! I then soldered every IC by hand and was very pleased with the result. If possible, I would love to turn this into a DIY kit of some sort. However, this won't be easy and I don't think I can do it alone. I would love to create a community of like-minded people where we can share design ideas and create something very unique together. So, if you like this project, feel free to join our Discord server and share your ideas. It doesn't have to be CPU related at all. There are many other things where your help would be really appreciated. Or just come and hang around, we'll be happy to see you there. And you can find all the necessary links in the video description. That's gonna be all from this one. Thank you for watching and if you want to see more, let me know and maybe I can turn this into a devlog series. Who knows? <laughs> Bye!